Hey guys, Juski here, and today I'm going to be talking about why pistols are not very necessary in Arma 3 loadouts. So if you're making a loadout for something like Wasteland, um, King of the Hill, or uh, any Milsom operations or anything like that, uh, you do need to make your loadout, you know, very well rounded for any situation, and therefore snipers do have to have pistols, you know, because someone can get behind them. If they have a bolt action, it's very difficult to shoot somebody at close quarters with bolt action, because you'll probably miss a few shots. Um, if they're running around, if they're moving quickly, they're probably going to get you first anyways, because they probably uh, surprised you. But, uh, for any other role that doesn't really have a primary weapon that is not, like, well suited for close quarters combat, as well as, you know, medium or whatever it's trying to be, Pistols are really unnecessary in Arma. Um, I've got 1500 hours in the game, and I know how pistols work in the game. An MX to a special carrier rig, right here, this is the most heavily fortified, armored vest in the game. This will take three shots. One, two, three. Now, with a... Oops, I, did I just pick up something from him? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm picking up his pistol and trading my pistol. Okay. But a PO7 will take nine shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, as you can see, that took a long time, and as fast as I can shoot this, let's try to take out a guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then, to shoot three shots with the MX is only this fast. Oh, sorry, that was two. It's only that fast, about a second long. So, that just shows the difference between the time to kill of an assault rifle and a pistol. Now, there are advantages to having a pistol in real life. Guns jam in real life, very commonly, and in real militaries, different types of guns and all that stuff, guns are not perfect in real life like they are in Armog. In Arma, you click the trigger, it fires a perfectly straight line that is pretty accurate. But in real life, you can have a gun jam, you can have it misfire, you can have all these problems happen to it, you can have uh, just malfunctions in any part of the gun that make it unable to fire, and then you pull out your pistol because your pistol is your backup your pistol is your secondary it is smaller and weaker but it's better than having nothing um, but in Arma for example your gun never really jams and that's kind of a good reason to not really have a pistol in the first place but there are other reasons in real life to have a pistol as well uh, if you're gonna peek around a corner it's slightly easier with a pistol to do so because you don't have a stock you don't have a long barrel in the way so you can get really really up close and personal to a wall and then peek around that wall um, in real life also if you're looking through like a hole in a building you can uh, just peek your little pistol up there and fire through the hole a little tiny people and you can have it really close to your face so you don't really need so much room with a pistol as well as in real life with a pistol it's just easier to be mobile it's easier to move around your targets and and you know tap the target a few times then tap a target over here I don't know it's slightly easier in real life because it just is a much lighter weight weapon it's a lot easier to hold than a rifle but in Arma, you don't really have that dexterity of your arms to really give a pistol an advantage because those things can't really be done anyways. Uh, if they can be done, they can be done with a rifle and be done better with a rifle. So, if we pull out a rifle here, what I thought would happen is that, okay, I go up to this wall, I bet my, you know, my rifle is actually about to touch the wall, and I was like, okay, that's good. They did the hitboxes right, so I can't walk into this wall really without my barrel stopping before I get to the wall. Now, I thought the PO7 hitbox would be smaller, and it is sometimes an advantage to be closer to a wall. And if I go like this, I can actually move a slightly closer, but if I extend my rifle, it pushes me back. Now, if I pull out my pistol and try to walk forward, you only move forward about like half an inch. And there really is no advantage to half an inch of moving forward. He's holding the gun out all the way forwards, and you can't really tell him to move it closer to his face at all, because that's not like a tactical stance that you can do in Arma. So there's really no advantage. Um, peeking through walls, that can be done with the MX, because as you can see, the hitbox for the MX actually doesn't even push me back. If I select the PO7 to the MX, I don't think it even pushes me back. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even push me back at all. Um, as well as, I'm going to show you right now, uh, the only advantage to having a pistol is your running speed. Uh, if you're running long distances, let's say you're running at full stamina uh, with a standard soldier like this. He's wearing a pretty heavy vest, but he he's, doesn't have really anything in it. If he's running full speed, he's running 18 kilometers an hour. But with a pistol or binoculars, uh, he can run at 18 to 19, slightly, very, very slightly faster. I think with binos, he actually runs fast as well. He runs at 23. So just note that your speed is greatly enhanced by running with binos, if you have them, but almost tiny enhanced, like just a little tiny bit with a pistol. Let's see what uh, 
running with a pistol is like with just a name like a standard tactical jog and then with a rifle it's about the same but sprinting you'll notice that this is 18 and that this is like almost twitching to 19 I think it's 19 um, so just note that you run slightly faster if you're in like a daisy like epoch type of game mode where there's like no vehicles for miles then it is better to run with a pistol in your hand but it always is better to run with binos um, so what I wanted to say was that it also fills up your inventory with unnecessary magazines and like attachments and just extra weight for a secondary gun that doesn't really work so well. So if you're really trying to pack up some weight and you're like trying to, uh, I guess, have as much stuff on you, have as much gear on you without being over encumbered, um, let's say you're holding nine mags, but you also want to hold some pistol mags. You know, pistol mags will take up space and if you don't want to use your pistol, those pistol mags aren't necessary anymore, and they're just sitting in your inventory, not really ever going to be used. So if I if I ever have a pistol for an operation, I usually have like two mags for it, something very minimal like that, because it does take up a lot of space, as well as the pistol takes up a lot of space. If we are something like a, um, sorry my phone just vibrated, if we are something like a Rocketeer, where we have a big, uh, let's go like a carry-all backpack with a... Um, an RPG and let's just carry tons and tons of RPGs if we're something like a Rocketeer that has 12 RPGs is, is in his backpack He's not going to be able to move um, But if we lower the weight we can actually lower it almost a little bit by taking out a pistol and taking out the mags We have for that pistol Just enough so that we can jog now so just notice that having a pistol can put you at a disadvantage. Pulling it out in a firefight is not a good idea because nine shots versus three is a big difference. Having an SMG is a much better method of having a close quarters weapon that has a high rate of fire that can really uh, stun somebody when you're at close range before you even kill them. And it's a much more effective way of having a close quarters gun rather than a P07 or an M9 or something like secondary like that. In Arma, Pistols aren't really fleshed out enough to be effective, and in any competitive loadout that you make in Koth, um, or for Wasteland, or for even Milsim game modes, PvP, PvE, you name it, never really carry a pistol unless you're a sniper who needs something semi-automatic to, to kind of protect them in a last uh, resort scenario. Honestly, I think that's the only person who really needs a pistol, because if you have a bolt action, it's going to be hard to hit somebody. Like, I've, I've played a lot of Wasteland, and carrying an MXSW, which is like the support version of this gun, you have 100 rounds of 65 millimeter to spray at somebody until you kill them. And if someone has like a Lynx, even if it's a semi-automatic 50 caliber sniper rifle, it still has a slower rate of fire than an MXSW. And if you miss that first shot, you're dead. If they run up behind you and they're in the same room as you, you turn around, you fire, you miss, you're pretty much dead by then and the other person will get you. So just note that always uh, carry a pistol if you're a sniper rifle, but if you're any other class, I wouldn't really recommend it because there is really no need. As long as you have binos to make you run faster, if you're in a safe scenario, um, you're, you're pretty much set. You don't really have any advantage to actually having a pistol. And a lot of people have always talked about this, you know, what's the best pistol, what's the best pistol, but I'm like, okay, why are you asking what's the best pistol? You know, if you're a sniper, yeah, go ahead. The 4.5 is definitely my favorite pistol in the game because it has pretty much the best damage per rate of fire per mag capacity ratio, but that's really it, and it only should be used by snipers. For anyone else, you don't really have an excuse to carry extra weight that you're probably never going to use in the in the long run. Um, so yeah, that, that's my thoughts guys. I, I really just kind of wanted to say that because Arma 3 has that type of system that isn't really effective towards pistols, never really gives pistols an advantage. So playing in any competitive, like if you're playing competitive in-game or anything that's like team versus team, it is a very big advantage to just drop your pistol, you don't need it in the long run, and go ahead and play. So thanks guys for watching. This was a small like little tactical guide video. I just wanted to kind of put this out there because that is a not really well-known fact about Arma is that just the pistols are totally um, underdogged in this and that they aren't really ever going to be effective unless they get a little patch update or something that makes them slightly more effective in some way. I don't really know exactly how. I'm not saying do so because it is very difficult to actually make a pistol work like it does in real life. So if Bohemian Interactive ever releases jamming in the game, we're pretty much screwed and this video is false. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Oh, hello, oh. Clay! <laughs> you made it! No, this can't happen. <laughs>
No! Contact, man! 20! Oh my god! god. <laughs> 